I am buying my wife a car. Our second wedding anniversary is on May 18th and she desperately needs a car. She is currently driving a beat up uh, 2008 Nissan Altima with over 200,000 miles on it. Uh, it's had a ton of issues over the years and it literally sounds like a lion is roaring anytime you push the gas pedal down. Uh, but this isn't just an anniversary gift. Uh, Amelia recently passed her teacher certification exam that she has been studying for for months. Uh, this was the final stuff uh, in her potentially becoming a teacher in here, in, here in Texas. She's worked uh, ridiculously hard uh, for that and supported me in my dreams over these last couple of months. And I want to give her something that she desperately needs and frankly, she deserves. So I should mention for those that are watching, uh, and thinking about doing this. Make sure you've had conversations on the financials with your spouse before you even begin contacting dealerships. Amelia and I have mentioned getting a new car for the last couple of months now and talked about how much we could afford monthly uh, if we got one. I covered all of those types of bases beforehand. I just bought the car. Uh, I feel like I've got I got a great deal. I did a lot of research and spoke to some friends and family. Uh, I got some competitive offers uh, and shopped those around and got the finance person to run multiple scenarios. I ended up going with a white RAV4 with black leather interior. Uh, I think she's gonna love it. Uh, I'm leaving the car at the dealership. Uh, over uh, these next couple of days uh, until I can get someone to come with me and drive my car back. Okay, so this is my last update uh, prior to me giving her the car. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, Amelia's Altima is uh, really beat up and over the last week, it's been struggling more than usual. Uh, she's had to jump the car off four times in the last six days and she woke me up at 7.30 yesterday morning and asked if I would take her to work because uh, she couldn't get her car to start even after trying to jump it. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely hate getting up early. So uh, at that point, I was like, man, I gotta give her this car sooner than our anniversary, which is currently six days away. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna suggest we go out to eat and have our friend Jenny get the car ready at her house. Uh, and after we finish eating, I'm gonna say that Jenny offered up her car for Amelia to use over the next couple of days. When we get to Jenny's house, uh, I'm gonna have Jenny open the door, hand Amelia the keys, and say something like, uh, hold on, let me open the garage, or something like that. And then uh, chaos and hopefully confusion uh, shall begin. Uh, I'll wager that the light bulb in her head won't go on immediately as to what's actually happening. Uh, but you never know. I just hope uh, she still has no idea uh, what's going on and this is still somehow uh, a secret. Hilarious. Did you even know? Yes. I did oh. that. Oh. No. Here, I'll... I can go up that way. Ah! What is that? Now, wait a minute. You bought the car? <laughs> wait. <laughs> How did you buy the car? Are you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Happy anniversary. How is, wait. <laughs> wait, is that a joke? Nope. <laughs> wait, when would you have done that? You don't get to know. <laughs> but no. When would you have done this? <laughs> who knew about this? A few people. Like who? Who? You? Who? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Go Wait. check it out. Those are yours. Who knew about this? Wait, is this a joke? You serious, Clark? This is your car. <laughs> Wait. Is this a joke? Stop lying. I don't lie. Tell the truth. I'm telling the truth. This is your car. Since when? Well, since the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought somebody.
<laughs> How did you guys call Barclays? I didn't. Who were fake, you? Fake the entire conversation. <laughs> Who were you on the phone with? Nobody. That's why you did it. You wouldn't let me do it. Yep. I thought for sure that there was no way Amelia would check the balance of the Barclays card knowing that it was paid off. But these types of surprises, you know, never go completely to plan. Of course, she checked the balance on the app literally hours after I had made the down payment. Like, who checks a card knowing that the balance should be zero? She noticed the card was missing from her wallet a couple of days prior uh, and thought she had just misplaced the card somewhere in the house and it'd turn up soon. Well, the only solution to cover up my plan was to use the obvious uh, excuse. It was stolen. She freaks out uh, and goes zero to 100 really quick, thinking she lost the card. She whips out her phone again, locks the card, and starts dialing Barclays customer service. And of course, I can't have that because I'm the one that made the charge. So I take the phone and say, let me do it. You know, you're too angry right now. It's, you're just gonna make it worse. I take the phone and I hang up uh, when she wasn't looking and after a couple of minutes, I act like I was put on hold and by this time You know, I, I'm all in I've got to sell this stolen card thing. So a couple of more minutes go by I walk out in the backyard and say uh, Tiffany from Barclays has answered the phone Amelia hears me talking to my imaginary customer service representative and walks outside too so she can hear the conversation Can't have that so I walk back inside acting like the representative asked for uh, a transaction ID number. So I go inside and of course she follows me inside. So I get up and act like I'm pacing around the house uh, with the phone up to my ear like an idiot on my imaginary phone call. After uh, a couple of minutes, I hang up uh, and tell Amelia that Barclays is gonna get back with us within 48 uh, hours with the conclusion of their investigation. <laughs> So on Tuesday, I texted her that Barclays called and concluded their investigation that it wasn't us that made the charge and uh, the transaction will disappear from our account in no more than seven business days. Somehow she bought it. I'm a storyteller, sir. It's my craft. Crank it up. I don't know how. It's a push start, <laughs> just like your car. I can't go anywhere. It breaks. <laughs> There's so many buttons. <laughs> is this? I. This is not real. What is all this? What are those? Why'd you get a car? This isn't. I can't afford. <laughs> well, now your gift's gonna look like crap. <laughs>